Hi guys, Konrad here from Motion VFX. Today we've prepared a tutorial for you on how to create a stunning 3D portals effect, so let's jump into it. We are, of course, in FCP. Let's quickly go to the M extension and drag the MRoto AI plugin onto our video. Next, select our subject and track the selection. As you can see, the selection doesn't have to be perfect. MRoto AI will handle it. Some frames may need small fixes, but we'll take care of that in a second. At this point, we'll use our rotoscoping data to create a mask that will help with the 3D tracking we'll do in the next step. We need to set the output to masked video. Invert the mask and expand it a bit. Let's go back to our M extension and drag and drop the M Tracker 3D plugin onto our video, then simply click track. After tracking is complete, copy the track data. In the next step, we'll start creating the main composition using the basic drop zone which can be found by expanding the Show Elements section under M-Tracker 3D. Drag it onto the timeline and trim it to match the length of your video. Right now, we can paste the tracking data into the basic drop zone title that we copied earlier. Choose the right location for the drop zone and scale it to the appropriate size. It's important to make sure the drop zone is placed correctly by doing a quick preview and scrubbing through the timeline. We will use our drop zone as a luma mask. So we need to make it completely black using the built-in colorization parameters in the published parameters list. Duplicate the title and this time make it completely white. Then scale it down slightly. As you can see, we're visually creating a frame effect. The white part of the image will act as our mask revealing the background video, but you'll see that in just a second. To create multiple portals like the ones you saw in the final result, we just need to duplicate the titles and place them in different positions. All the steps are the same as the ones I showed you when creating the first black and white frame. During the process we of course need to make sure that the placement of the frames is accurate in 3D space to achieve the most realistic result possible. The final step in creating the Luma Mask is to hide the background footage and render a black and white video containing our frames placed in 3D space. After that, we can disable all the titles with the frames. Let's duplicate our video and place it above everything. Then. Go to the inspector and reset the MRoto AI settings to their default values to make our rotoscoped subject visible. In the background video, we can easily delete the MRoto AI plugin. It's no longer needed. Place the Luma Mask video onto the timeline and add the Image Mask filter to the background video from the FCP Effects tab. Set the Luma Mask video as the mask source, then change the source channel to Luminance. Finally, hide the Luma Mask video on the timeline. We are almost there. As you can see, we've created some nice portals placed in the 3D space of the video. Let's add some extra sauce by using overlay effects from Design Studio. I will use effects from my personal favorite M Music Video 2 collection, maybe pixel sorting and diffuse. I think they'll fit great. I simply drag them onto the timeline and make a few small adjustments. I'm not completely happy with the subject rotoscoping, so I'll make a few tweaks using the published parameters in MRoto AI. Then, to make the movement of the portals more realistic, I'll apply the motion blur effect from our MFilm Look plugin.
Finally, I group everything into a compound clip and use M-Film Look once again to apply the final color grading. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Cheers!